Welcome, Jamie Hartley back here again from Crossfader. And today I've got five tips for you to help you become a more creative DJ. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't need to be a creative DJ to make a living in the industry, but it definitely helps. It also keeps that passion alive and helps you think differently about your music and your equipment. Just make sure that you master the basics before trying any of these. You need to be confident at your beat matching by ear and your basic mixing skills. Let's get creative. Tip number one is sampling. You'd be surprised how much music actually samples from other tracks. Hip hop is the main genre that's used for sampling, but you'll find it in a lot of other music as well. I've got a few examples right now, so let's take a look. On the right deck in this example, we have Dance With You by Carrie Lucas, a track from 1979. Coming up is the direct sample used by Armin van Helden in his track, You Don't Know Me, released nearly 20 years later. By setting up some loops, we can make the transition between the two. Deactivate the loop after blending, and we're into the new track. Here we have the song Why Can't We Live Together by Timmy Thomas on the left deck. See if you can recognise the sample. The original speed of this track is way slower than the next track that uses the sample. We're going to have to be clever about speeding it up using a wider tempo adjust setting. You used to call me on my cell phone. And now you can hear the direct sample behind Drake's Hotline Blake. If you need some ideas, then whosampled.com is a great community-driven resource. Let's check the website out. You can simply type in an artist or a track, and then you can see whether that track uses samples or has been sampled. As DJs, we can get plenty of ideas just from this one website. Tip number two is wordplay. Now you may have seen this used throughout plenty of DMC Red Bull 3 style type routines and sets. What is wordplay? Well, it's a way of combining different tracks together using the same word from the two different tracks. For example, just think how many tracks have the word love or baby or down. Those common words run throughout so many different tracks and as DJs, we can pick out those words and transition between two or three or four different songs. Let's check out a few examples. This example follows on nicely from the sampling techniques in the previous tip. Rather than the instrumental, let's take a look at a vocal hook used in Fat Man Scoop's Be Faithful and switch it over to the original hook from Naughty by Nature's Hip Hop Parade. In this example, Drake uses the same vocals from a pop can track called Love You Back. You don't have to be restricted by the exact yeah. same vocal sampling. In this example, we can loop the AO vocal hook in Black Street's No Diggity, then bring in Chris Brown's AO underneath. The wordplay isn't as obvious to start with, but keen ear should pick up on it. Another popular word to look out for is money. Here we can switch between Rihanna and ODB by using a loop and some scratching. Watch and listen, maybe even try this one for yourself. Tip number three is tone play. Well, this one is quite an advanced trick and you might need a bit more of a musical ear to figure it out. But my main tip here is look for tracks in the same key. Most tracks are produced in a certain key, which means they use a certain amount of notes on the piano scale. The melody of one track might use very similar notes to the melody of another track. It just might be in a different order. So we need to use the digital software or hardware that we have to actually rejuggle them notes and play them to the new melody. Now this will only work in certain environments. For example, you see it a lot in the Red Bull 3 style and DMC routines, but it's something fun you could maybe even add to your club sets or party sets. Let's take a quick look at some examples. In this remix of Wild Thoughts, there are three notes that can be played to the melody of California Love by Tupac. We have to be clever about adding the pauses in to make the transition sound just right. This next one, we have to use more advanced technology within the DJ software to take a hot cue and pitch that one note up and down to play the new melody.
This technique can be done with keyboard mode in Rekordbox and on something like the DJM S9 with Serato. Next up, we have a vocal tone play transition. Using the acapella of Deeper Love, we can take the four vocal notes and recreate the first half of the melody from Back in Black by ACDC. Tip number four, combining instrumentals and acapellas. This one can seem quite simple, but just please, please, please don't always rely on your grids or the analysis within your DJ software for acapellas. Nine times out of 10, it gets it wrong. So make sure you practice your beat matching with acapellas by ear. We've got a free lesson, the link will be floating around somewhere to help you master that skill. But take an acapella, take a different instrumental, you can then remix and re-edit some of your favorite tracks. This is a quick way to start making your set stand out both in the club and in routines. And my tip number five is live performance. With a lot of the new technology that's been developed, the live sampling has been implemented into controllers and even standalone units like the DJS 1000 now. So start looking at finger drumming, start lo looking at resampling music, playing music live within your DJ software, taking drums, taking loops, recreating and re-adding new elements into current tracks. A really simple way to get started with this is to save some loops in your sampler and to combine those loops at the start of a set. In software like Serato, you can save a loop on the original track, then drag it into the sampler to activate at any point. Do that with multiple tracks and combine different elements together. Another way to do this is to chop up different parts of a track and then replay them in a different order, creating a whole new remix or a whole new track. Here in Rekordbox, we have captured three parts of the Valentino Khan remix of Swish Swish by Katy Perry. Those three elements have been loaded into the sampler and replayed using the sequencer record function. We can then kill the sampler level and jump back into the original track, all while cutting the acapella over the top. So hopefully some of these tips have got you thinking just how you can get creative with your music, with your library and with your hardware. I've posted some links around this video that might help you out with some of these tricks. There's some free DJ lessons from our website and from our courses. Thank you everyone for watching this far and please make sure to subscribe and comment and do all that good stuff to help us keep doing what we're doing. I'll see you in the next video.